Fort Meade Garrison Command Sergeant Major Andre Welch leading service members from across Maryland in an honor salute at Gilchrist's 5th Annual Welcome Home Vietnam Veterans Day celebration. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, Joint Cyber Operations Center breaks ground. April is the month of the military child and a look ahead to Earth Day. These stories and more, but first, due to district realignment, the Fort Beat region is now in Maryland's 5th Congressional District. The 5th is represented by longtime Congressman Steny Hoyer. The congressman visited Fort Meade this week, meeting with garrison leadership and getting an informational tour of the installation. Congressman Hoyer has represented the 5th District since 1981. In other news, if you've driven by the Fort Meade Thrift Shop recently, you know a major construction project has started. This shot is from the corner of 6th Street and Chamberlain Avenue. The site is the future home of the Joint Cyber Operations Center. This week, a groundbreaking ceremony was held featuring guest speaker Vice Admiral Frank Bradley, commander of the Joint Special Operations Command. The Admiral said the facility will help bridge virtual and physical domains to defend the nation. In his remarks, Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp said the center adds to Fort Meade's role as a 21st century power projection platform. The Army Corps of Engineers is leading the project. The center is scheduled to open in 2025. Elsewhere, the 742nd Military Intelligence Battalion Charlie Company conducts a quarterly Tough Squad physical fitness competition. They're team building events using the stress inoculation theory to challenge soldiers mentally and physically while improving teamwork and resilience. And the overall purpose is to uh, you know, build teamwork um, and uh, cohesion. It's pretty core, but then ultimately uh, utilizing the kind of uh, the theory of stress inoculation, um, kind of provide uh, a safe way to um, provide discomfort and stress for the soldiers to then overcome and build confidence on, on how to get, move past stress and, and stressful situations. Both Captain Fish and Event Coordinator Staff Sergeant Jacob Fritsch, she says that assistance from Fort Meade's Training Support Center is critical in staging these competitions. Normally I'll, uh, I'll give the guys over at the Training Support Center a call, give them the heads up, saying, hey, we need this amount of you know, dummies, this amount of dummy rifles, whatever it is that we might need for the event. We've utilized them in the past for uh, tactical dining ins, other tough squads, other physical competitions, etc. We just basically ask, hey, can you, uh, can you support this? This is what we need. And nine times out of 10, they have exactly what we need. In other news, April is the month of the military child and also National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Child and Youth Services and Fort Meade's Family Advocacy Program hosted the annual pinwheel planning ceremony in recognition of Child Abuse Prevention Month. One of the guest speakers, Maria Baez, talked about the new parent support program. We all know that parenting sometimes can be very stressful and therefore we are here to assist you. I know as a military spouse sometimes we move to new areas where we do not have a support system but we are your support system. We are here to assist you with any, any parental questions that you may have from newborn to ages up to five. Again we are looking at the family advocacy program. You can contact the parent support program through family advocacy at Army Community Service. A couple of final reminders. First, the Transition Assistance Program is hosting an Employer Day Career Fair Thursday, April 20th from 11 to 1.30 at the McGill Training Center. As of this recording, there are nearly 30 potential employers expected to attend. Contact the Transition Assistance Program office at 301-677-9781 for more information. Finally, the Director of the Public Works announced this week plans for this year's Earth Day celebration. The event features the planting of three native flowering trees at Burba Lake. Burba Lake will also be certified as a Monarch Butterfly Way Station. The Fish and Wildlife Service will have representatives on hand, and American Water is providing snacks and refreshments. The celebration is Thursday, April 20th at 1 p.m. at Burba Lake Pavilion 2. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Women have have been making their mark in history for centuries, especially in the military. From the Revolutionary War to today, countless women have served and sacrificed for our great nation. Women have long been instrumental in the United States Army. Their stories and the larger human story expand our understanding and strengthen our connections. This month, we celebrate these stories and recognize the contributions of women, past and present but especially the everyday women warriors that work selflessly to get the job done. These women continue to sustain victory, win in every endeavor, and make their mark in history.